it's Kim from Guide to the Good and today we are in the absolutely beautiful space at Clark's Beach. We're at the Newfoundland Distillery Company and we're with Peter Wilkins and Bobby Bessie. Peter is the man behind the Newfoundland Distillery Company. Bobby Bessie is actually back home. She did spend some formative years out here in this area um, and she's also the chair of the board of the greenrock.ca and she couldn't pass up the opportunity for the road trip. Um, you also might remember Bobby from the first we got this. She is a, uh, she's the woman behind Shakti Yoga Studio and she did a huge pivot way back there in March and started teaching yoga online. But today we're talking about uh, something of a different spirit, uh, a magnificent spirit uh, type of connection and we'll hear a little bit more about that. But first, We Got This is a series about a fu the future of this place. Um, we are in Newfoundland and Labrador. We have wide space. We have brilliant, innovative people. We have everything we need to build uh, a, a sustainable future for the people who are here now and for the people of the future. And people like Peter Wilkins and his team uh, here at Clark's Beach are doing amazing things that truly come from the ground up, from the ground, from, from the juniper berries and from the changa and from all these amazing things. And they're creating uh, products that are internationally renowned. And it is a great uh, pleasure to be here talking with you and especially on this magnificent sunny day. So, um, Peter, tell us about uh, the Newfoundland Distillery Company. Um, we are a small craft distillery. We're the first one in the province and we really try and focus on using all local ingredients to make all our different spirits. So we get the grain in Cormac and that's the base for our vodka, which is the base for our gins and also the base for our aquavit. Um, and then we get all sorts of local botanicals from all around the province. We get the chaga in central. We get the juniper from all around the Avalon Peninsula. We get bake apples from um, Bonavista and elsewhere. And um, I think we cover most of the most of Newfoundland. Yeah, that is amazing. And your products are absolutely incredible. I love the seaweed gin uh, well, thank you. the most, um, but the, the other products are winning awards from all over the place. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, our latest awards, we managed to get a gold medal and 94 points for our seaweed gin at the New York International Spirit Competition. And our cloudberry gin, which is we call bake apple gin, um, got 92 points and a silver medal. So obviously 93 was the cutoff. Right. <laughs> and why they couldn't have given us one more point and give us a gold for that one, I don't know. But really, no, we're absolutely thrilled. It's amazing that we sort of win awards. And we won them at the San Francisco World Spirit Competition, which is the biggest one, where we actually got a double gold, wow. which means all the judges in blind tasting awarded a gold medal. Um, and our rums um, at the World Rum Awards, this year our gunpowder and rose rum won Best Spice Rum in Canada. Last year our Chaga Rum won Best Spice Rum in Canada. So I mean, it's, yeah, we're rather amazed because we make them for ourselves and obviously to share. Yeah. Um, you know, but we want to have interesting spirits that reflect, you know, the sort of local ingredients and you know, the terroir of the um, province. Yeah. yeah. Well, I always sound a bit pretentious saying terroir, but you know that's what everybody wants to say. Yeah. <laughs> you say that. Um, and there are so many good things, you know, about the products that you use to build the things. And there's something quite amazing about your process. Before uh, we came out here in the sunshine, uh, Peter took us on a tour of the distillery itself, and it's it's magnificent. It's it's big and it's got buttons and shiny things <laughs> and all kinds of first and biggest and, and best types of, of explanations. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we've got, you can't say, we've got a 40 ton grain tower so we can store all the grain and that goes straight into the, um, there's an auger which takes the grain into the fermentation room where we then put the grain in the grinder which goes to the mash tun and then we make the mash and then we put it into the fermenters for three days. And the idea of that process is you turn the starch into sugar and the sugar into alcohol. And by the end of that, you've got enough, it looks a bit like a soup, but you, um, it's just around nine, eight, nine, 10% alcohol. And then you put that into the still for the first run. And then that comes out nice and clean and pure. And then when you put it in the second run and it comes out even cleaner and 
purer. Um, and then the final run, it comes out about 94% alcohol. And it's very pure. And we've got, our still was especially made for us because it's, um, it's a CRN approved still that actually works at high pressure steam, even though we only use low pressure steam in there. And it's an amazing bit of kit that yeah, we're absolutely <laughs> thrilled with and we love. And it's just, we can actually see it producing um, spirits at 94% alcohol no. Right now. Um, right now, which is, yeah, fantastic. And so that's really the process. And if we're making gin, it goes through the gin basket, which is full of botanicals, and then it spits out gin. This is something Bobby and I didn't know, that uh, gin is flavored vodka. Is that correct? In is a sense, yeah. 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 Vodka is the base for gin. Right. And so right. you use vodka to make gin. So technically, yes, it is a flavored vodka but vodka is not meant to be flavored right. so it becomes gin when you put juniper and other botanicals with it but gin has to have juniper right okay which you get here which we pick locally yes and we also yeah. learned that it's a multi-year berry yes all these things <laughs> yeah that's yes it sort of grows over a couple of years and i think the second year um it is then ripe and ready to pick because when you're looking at them there are a lot of green berries and then they're good. Right. You need to let them ripen so you can get the dark blue berries. Awesome. Huh? So all of this was going on. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're charging through, doing wonderful things, and COVID happened. And you had to close the tasting room. And then what happened? Well, we had just opened the tasting room because we'd moved over to a sort of new, bigger location. Yes, which is awesome. And we had it open for about two weeks. And then COVID happened. And so, you know, we shut down very quickly and happily. And then it occurred to us that we could possibly make hand sanitizer because hand sanitizer is 74.7% alcohol. Right. Uh, so we applied for the licenses with Health Canada and also with Customs and Excise because you have to account for every bit of alcohol and where it's going mm. right. because there's, you know, there's a lot of tax that we contribute to the greater good in that way. Right. Yeah. Um, quite a bit. And we got all our permissions surprisingly quickly. And then we started making hand sanitizer. Well, the world needed it. Yeah. It did. did. It was it. extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it really was. And it was, yeah, there were people calling the whole time. We actually had to unplug the phones <laughs> so we could get on and do this. Yes, yes. And you made a ton or made a lot. Yeah, yes. And then the time came that you could stop making that. And now you're I'm back to making spirits and concentrating on what we should be doing. And yeah, sort of catching up with production, which I think we're now we're bottling our rhubarb vodka and aquavit this weekend, and then we'll be caught up with production. Oh, really? And then, yeah, then we're going to lay down some whiskey mm. um, in the next couple of weeks. We're just waiting for the barrels to arrive. Oh, cool. So are they new barrels? Yes, new barrels. Yeah, new old barrels? Yeah, uh, we've got some old barrels coming and some new oak barrels coming. Right. Um, and we'll sort of do a bit of both yeah. and sort of mix it up a bit. Cool. But then we've got to age it for three years. So so we've got to wait, <laughs> so there will which be is going to be now. really boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, so all that talk about uh, creating these magnificent uh, tastes and, and flavors, I think Bobby wants to talk to you a little bit about making a drink. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, so these are all the ingredients here, right? Yeah. yeah. So can you explain to us what, what each one is? Yeah, what we're going to make is it's called a harvest moon. and. It has a lot of local ingredients. We've got our rum, and just so everybody knows about the rum, the base of our rum is a Jamaican rum, oh. um, but we've added our own flavors from the province to make it sort of add. So there's Newfoundland sea salt, there's kelp, which is a natural source of sulfur, um, and gunpowder, because we were going to make real, use real gunpowder um, in the rum. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah. it is okay. a thing. <laughs> And that's how, because the reason we were doing that, originally rum was part of the sailor's daily ration, and they were always given their top of rum. Yeah. But there were wicked officers and people in charge who would skim off a lot of the rum and fill it up with water. Right. And that would really upset the sailors because yes, they weren't yeah. getting their proper ration. Right. So to keep all the sailors happy, they would proof the rum. And so to proof the rum, they'd sprinkle gunpowder on, light it, and if it fizzled and lit up, they'd all know it was at proof. So they were happy to drink it. So we thought that was, you know, quite a nice a good idea. story. <laughs> and, you know, and there's a lot of ships going from here to Jamaica and backwards and forwards. You know, the yeah. salt cod going there, the rum yeah. coming back. There's yeah. a history. Yeah, we thought, sure. A, we had yeah. to use Jamaican rum. Yeah. B, gunpowder was a natural 
ingredient. Um, and so we use all local natural ingredients, like, like kelp is for the sulfur, and then some charred birch to give it the um, carbon. And then we wanted to sort of make it a little bit more elegant. So we used some wild roses to have to give it the floral notes on the end. So that's how we make it sort of our rum. Mm. But we, so for the cocktail, we've also got a lime, which are not really grown here. Um, <laughs> but, I worry yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got our own massive greenhouse. No, um, but the rest of it, <laughs> we've got some honey from Grand Falls, Windsor. Um, from Tuck's Bee Better Honey, um, and we use a lot of their honey um, in our aquavit as well. Um, and then we've got some baked apples, and then some baked apple jam. And we actually, for this, we make a honey syrup, which is half honey, half water. And we'll use all of those ingredients in the cocktail. Um, and, th and a bit of local fresh mint. Did this say honey blueberry on here? Or, or that's 100? No, that okay. says honey honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, normally we have much bigger jars. I think this is the last one we've got left. Um, well, it's perfect for this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, all these, these shiny bits again. Are these shiny? Yeah, it was copper. We do a <laughs> yeah, slight copper theme just because, you know, the still is all copper. We try and match a bit. And the baked apples are all hand-picked lovely. Exactly. Yeah. And the baked apple jam is made locally too. I can't quite remember who made it. Um, well, we can add that on at the end, yeah. Yeah. that credit we're credit. Um, and then we've also got to finish it off, we've got our um, bitters, because we've made a range of bitters, oh. um, which are available. And this is a sweet gale and wild rose oh. bitters, oh. which just sort of helps give it a bit of a pop. And, um, is that made here? Yes, oh, we, yeah. we made that here. And these well, a range of bitters are all with local ingredients, local botanicals. Mm -hmm. And we've got a, a baked apple one, we've got a chaga and chanterelle one, and then a sweet gale and nettle one. Oh, that's this one. And a seaweed and nettle one too. Oh, um, fabulous. Before you get into um, making that drink, I, we can get the, the bottles at the uh, NLC. What about the bitters? Are they they are at the NLC as well. As well. Okay. Everything's at the NLC and at our shop in Cox Street. Right. Too. Which and, you, and you also sell them. Yeah, so we're allowed to yeah. sell them in our shop. Yeah. And you can taste the spirits in the tasting room and try which ones you like. And then you can go all the way to the shop and buy them in the shop. Right. If, if you like them. But, I did you know, that last yeah. week, actually, with the baked apple juice. Oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. The plan works. Yeah. <laughs> and so just one last thing before we get to actually making the drink. The, the, the distillery actual is right there to this side. Offices, offices and well. packing room and kitchen. Right, and then to the left, which has a magnificent view of what we can see here, uh, is the tasting room with the Perfect. cold bar and, and all kinds of things. And people, of course, could come up here. As well. They can, yeah. yes. Although the tasting room has the same view, it's just <laughs> as lovely. Yeah, and it's warmer in the winter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think I think we're ready. Shall I try and make a cocktail? Yeah, make us a cocktail. Okay, now I've got, I haven't made this a lot, so I'm oh. going to put the microphone down. Yep. And I'm, oops, I'm going to put some ice in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double cocktail. We should actually be making three, shouldn't we? Or is well, I'm driving. I'll okay. Have a look, yeah. okay. You can have a sip of ice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so get some ice in it. Actually, I'll just fill the glasses down a bit too, because I am very professional. And then we can stop that noisy part. So now we're meant to put two ounces. We're going to make a double, so we're going to put four ounces. I'm a bit more cavalier than most people, and I just pour because I know how much it is. But because I'm responsible as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm going to go. There's two ounces. Okay. Yeah, and we, yeah, we've got a nice shiny thing, and another two ounces. Ooh. And because I'm making it, I just put a bit more in. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to put, uh, we normally put half a lime in, but as we make doubling up, we're going to put two halves in. I notice you're selling all of the gear for making this in, in the your shop, shop as well. Well, yeah, exactly, because, you know, some people get quite excited and want to go home and Do make it, it all. Yeah. So, and we are getting all the instructions on our website for all the cocktails oh. as well. But we haven't quite got there yet. But we're, we're yeah, in right. another week. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So, and we'll then, 
Yeah, and then we put a little bit of mint, which is picked earlier. It's looking a bit tired there now. Um, better save pretty ones for the garnish. Garnish. For the cover stuff. And then we need two spoons of. Right, those are the bake apples for garnish. You see, I'm not very professional <laughs> at this at all. Yeah, it's authentic. It's good. It's a real oh, thing. Right. The yeah. The, so, oh, God, that looks quite nice, oh, actually. I nearly so want a yummy. bit of taste. We'll put a bit more of that in tea because yeah. it looks really nice. My uh, mom always has bake apples with uh, sugar sprinkled on top. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. And then we've got our honey syrup. honey syrup, and we're putting half an ounce of that in. So, there's one half and two halves. Now, I think we shake it all about. I'll put everything I'm meant to? Yeah, I think so. That's good. It does, yeah, yeah. Shaking that through. Yeah, well, exactly. Martinis have got to be stirred because you'll bruise that alcohol. Um, now, they all make it look effortless when they do this. <laughs> <laughs> Building suspense. Um, well, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's not quite good enough yet. So wait. Why is this not? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a real vacuum sucking to it. I know, right? I think I have. Yeah. So I'm meant to put it on at an angle, and I haven't done that. Coming. There it is. It is vacuum sucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. This hasn't happened since before. At least if this happens at home, we'll yeah, know you know, it's, it's not... a thing, right? It's not us. Even the professionals can get it stuck. Yeah, well, exactly. Perhaps if I do it upside down. I'll make a big mess. Well, hmm? yeah. somebody's on. Okay. Uh. It's making us really want to have a drink, right? This is my comedy routine. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Well, what we can do is, is get this sorted out and then we will show the drink at the end because all the hard part is done. Um, and remember, we are at Clark's Beach at Newton Land Distillery. I'm just going to go and get the right, yeah. the right pack. Okay. And you can uh, come out here, you know, check their website for their business hours, and you can see the uh, spirits being transformed into amazing drinks or amazing alcohol. And then you can see it live uh, behind the bar there. You have all this view behind. Um, there's a shop where you can purchase really cool swag as well as um, pretty openable coppery things. Um, and you can find out a little bit more about uh, Newfoundland Distillery at www.guidetothegood.ca. That's where uh, we all are. We'll give you the recipe for this particular drink on the Guide to the Good site as well as on the Newfoundland Distillery site, uh, probably next week. So thank you so much for uh, joining us today. It's been a real pleasure to be here. Thank you, Peter, who's uh, <laughs> remixing. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's it. We, we've, we've got this. We can do amazing things in this place uh, today and for the future. So have a good one. That's it. Thank you, Bobby, for being here. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> <laughs> Still shaking, shaking. <laughs> and now, magically, <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> Worth the wait. And we're going to filter this because it's got uh, some little pips in there from the bake out. Make it look smart. Um, and have I got this the right amount? There, of course. You look so good. Nearly. Looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, and then we'll have a little dash of bitters in each one. Like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then a little bit of mint. And you've always got to clap the mint because you release its natural oils. Oh, oh cool. New to me. Not, not grind it up. No, <laughs> just you give it a little clap and it sort of, I guess it shocks it into action. <laughs> so many great. It's like wind. Maybe it's the, the Air Force. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Also, it probably makes your hands um, good. So there, you, you have that one. Well, I'm going to have a sip, yeah. Yeah, you have a sip, and then you can have a sip of that one. <laughs> oh, oh well, you want to have a sip? No, but I, one. you know, I, no, I can always. <laughs> wouldn't be my first time. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Mm, yum. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, it's, it's so good. We didn't cheers properly oh, though. We like not. we didn't <laughs> no, I think it's cheers. Yeah, we were worried about spilling it though. Yeah, so, I know, yeah. right? They want to spill it. Oh anything. yeah, so staycation destination. Here. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Do we get um bake apples and floating in the chocolate? Oh there? gosh. I, you, I knew there was something I was missing. <laughs> I'm glad somebody lives a test. I mean, yeah. well, well done. Well done. It took Bob. a while. I knew there was supposed to be floating bake apples. Oh, that makes oh, all the sink, difference. See, it's just a little shading at the yeah, bottom. Exactly. And you know you're there, and you see it's, that's your little prize when you drink it all. <laughs> so that's so. another part of the vacation destination. So the um, the tasting room is not only tasting these lovely things; it's also uh, got a menu. Yes, we've got, yeah, we have um, lovely local sourdough bread made by Jamie and Bay Roberts, and then we have um, Five Brothers cheese from the Goulds, and um, meats from Chinch and St. John's, awesome. and we also have Steve Curtis's chutneys. Yeah. So it's wow. like a sort of picnic-y food, and we have a bit of lovely smoked salmon as well. Yeah? From Whitless Bay. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. And it's just to sort of keep the wolf from the door and keep everybody going, so we're mm. not a kitchen, yeah. but we have a bit of food so people get really peckish. Yeah. Right. Well, it's a nice uh, so, compliment. Too, yeah, yeah, well, exactly, because yeah. sometimes you have two or three drinks, you sometimes you need something to shake it up a bit. Have a nibble, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. the whole experience. This has been wonderful. Thank you well, so much. Well, thank you very much. much. For having us. Thank That's you. a pleasure. Uh, and, yeah, so I, I said, so check us out, www.guidetothegood.ca. The Newfoundland Distillery profile will carry also uh, this interview, and so you can watch making um, the, the the drink again. Uh, also, you're going to have the the recipe for the drink on your website in the future. Yeah, I think it, it might be there already, but we're just putting them all up, so I don't quite know if it's there now or if it's there tomorrow. Right. Okay. But it'll we'll be there very soon. Soon. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing, just the hours of the uh, shop and tasting. They are 1 to 9 every weekdays, Fridays and Saturdays 1 to 10.30, and Sundays 1 to 6, and Mondays we're closed because Mondays we have our own party. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> have to take a break. Yeah. So thank you, uh, you know, because of you and the things that you're doing with all the companies that you're doing, we got this. We can build a sustainable future here on this planet. Well, thank you very much. Rock on. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! All right.